Hi guys, great news, had my hair cut. Anyway, moving on. This is a box. This is the Acer Aspire 1, A110. Now, this is a netbook very similar to the Asus EPC. You're probably wondering, Duncan, why did you get rid of your Asus EPC? Well, I finished the term, I did what I wanted to do on that notebook, loved it, but sold it. And as I'm starting a new term, I need a new laptop. So here we go, this is the Acer Aspire A110, the white version. I think this was aimed at the retards in the shop. But anyway, let me just uh, list you off the specs that are on the side. We've got the Intel Atom Processor N270. I believe this runs at 1.6 gigahertz. I think it's single core as well. We've got an 8.9 inch Crystal Bright WSVGA. 512 megabyte DDR2 RAM. This is the 8 gigabyte SSD version. Just gonna stop there because there's an A150 version of this, um, which I found in the shop as well. That was 30 pounds more and you could actually have a 120 gigabyte hard drive. Now I would have got that other than the fact that I needed that 30 pound for other things. So um, mainly the reason of getting this eight gigabyte SSD was um, for money reasons. But anyway, uh, moving on. A multi-in-one card reader. Um, I think it does five and it's also got an SD card slot. It's got a uh, LAN, uh, 1000 base T, uh, wireless 802.11b and G and the soft load is Linux it has the Olympus I think it's Olympus OS on it I'll show you the first boot um, in a separate video but I'll just be unboxing this to show you guys what is in the box so I hope this goes well um, this is again the 8 gigabyte version which is the solid state drive so I had the Asus EPC 701 and that had four gigabytes of storage and I ended up buying a SD card for that. Now I, I may end up getting an SD card for this. I was Again I was thinking about getting this uh, A150 with the 120 gigabyte hard drive but um, I think that was more aimed as a desktop replacement even though it's a very small um, notebook or netbook as they call them. Okay so here is the laptop or the netbook. I'll just take it out of its wrapping so you guys can see it. As you know from the retail comment at the beginning it's the white version. So you can see that it's very, very shiny. You see the light shining off? So it's it looks it looks really luscious actually, I really like it. Um, so here, if I just go through the ports, um, sorry about my crappy webcam, we've got a microphone socket, we've got a uh, headphone socket, two USBs, the multi-card reader, and what looks like a Kensington lock. If I try and show you that closer, it's hard to see, I'm really sorry for the webcam. Um, inside here I believe what we have here is a SIM card um, reader or something like that. I think it's uh, actually blocked off. I think that's aimed for newer models that will uh, sport 3G and things like that. Then obviously this is whole thing is the battery. And on this side we have, uh, I think that's the a power cable, uh, VGA. I don't know why they still do VGA on these laptops, but um, the LAN another USB and an SD card. Now I believe this SD card is a little bit special because it integrates it into the hard drive so, it feel, so it's got more hard drive space. So not sure how that works but we'll see anyway. Okay so I'm just going to open up this notebook. Now if I, I can do it on this desk so you guys can see as I open it. So this is the inside of the notebook. Sorry if you, there's any sounds you're hearing. Um, it's hard to show you. We've got the welcome thing and some random foamage. Um, but this is the keyboard. Um, I believe the keys are bigger than the Asus EPC and I know you guys can't really see this, uh, I'll try my best, but it's actually got a glossy screen. That's one thing I liked about this laptop when I saw it in the shop. It looks so much nicer than the Asus EPC, uh, or the one that I bought anyway, as you can see the webcam glowing. You can see it's that glossy, you can see the reflection of the webcam that's standing on a little post. But anyway, um, so this is the actual laptop itself. Very, very lightweight, it weighs, le weighs less than a kilogram, which is very similar to, again, the EPC. And it comes with the Linux operating system. So I'm just gonna lay that down while I open up the rest. Now at the top, just sort of in a pouch here, I've actually got a pouch for the laptop. So you can see that, that is the pouch that you get. Um, unlike the Asus, which sported the Asus bit on the front, this is just uh, empty. But it's um, nice to have it as well as a carrier to protect your netbook. Okay, so let's get into the underside of it. This is just a random piece of cardboard packaging. 
we have a recovery DVD instruction sheet. Now, I got a feeling with the XP version, um, there is, sorry, there is an XP version with 120 gig, and then there's um, the Linux version with 120 gig, which was in the shop, which I was going to buy. Um, but the XP version comes with a recovery DVD, but I don't think the Linux version does, I'm not sure. But either way, you have a recovery DVD here and the instruction sheet. It's all packaged up, so I'm not going to bother opening it or anything. And uh, we have a warranty uh, here. Uh, it's really exciting stuff. A load of crap about if it breaks, which it might do, you never know. <laughs> uh, this is the battery. Very, very light to put into the notebook. I'm going to try and start it up. It may not have any battery, um, but we'll see if we can do it for the first boot. And we just have the standard power cable. I'm very happy with this. Uh, sorry if you're hearing the crumpling. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy with this because it looks like uh, like a standard cable you'd get for your computer. Um, whereas the Asus EPC I got had that stupid travel adapter thing on it. So it's sticking out and I didn't have any... Um, I had to take up two plugs uh, quite a lot. So um, that's uh, very good as well. And here, uh, I see, we've got a second part to it. It was me thinking it was just that one piece. Uh, so we do have the power brick like you normally have on your laptops uh, to connect to the laptop. That doesn't matter, it just makes the cable a little bit longer. And we just have a random little thing here. And that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's all the stuff that's in there. So this is going to have the Linux operating system. Um, apparently it boots in 15 to 20 seconds, which is uh, pretty good. So I'm just going to try and do the first boot. So I'm just going to, uh, you can see here, uh, this bit is just, remember the little bit that the laptop came in. So I'm just going to try and plug this in and turn it on um, to see if we actually have some battery to show you. So this is the white version. It's, uh, look, we've got the black screen, but it's white on the front. So I think it looks quite nice like that, actually. It looks a little bit modern. So um, that's that anyway. There is a blue version, a pink version, and black version or something like that. So anyway, the battery's in. I'm just going to turn it on. The on button is right there. If you, can, you can see it. So I'm just going to press the on button. Uh, it's actually switched on, which is good stuff. So I'm not sure how this is going to focus. Uh, there we go. Acer empowering people. Now this is going to be the first run. So I'm not sure how it, what it's going to ask me or anything like that. But this, as you can see, it started. There we go. Straight away. And it's now asking me for a language. So I'm just going to select... English UK and go next. Uh, please create your password. All right, bear with me while I type this. See if you can guess it. It's there we go. Next. Uh, now it's asking me for the time and the date. Again, you can't really see this, but it's asking me for the time and the date. Um, I'll, I'll sort out later. But it's now saying finish. System is setting up now and will re reboot in a few seconds. Uh, please don't turn the computer off. All right. Well, it looks like it's rebooting now. I really am sorry about this webcam. I was looking to get another HD webcam sort of thing that would record much better quality videos, but I ended up getting this instead. So um, that's all good. All right, so you can see there's the mouse cursor on the bottom right. As far as I can see, there's no dead pixels or stuck pixels, which I'm very happy about as the EPC I got had a stuck pixel. I was not happy about that. It's really harsh to get a laptop and find that it's got a stuck pixel on it. Um, that is, yeah. But as you can see, so it's just booting up now. Uh, I haven't really timed it, but straight away we're straight into this Linux or Linux, I think this Linux light operating system, and we have connect, work, fun, and files, a bunch of stuff. Um, but that's about it, really. There's a search thing here. I'm looking to probably put Windows on this. Um, we'll see how it performs. I know some issues that have been arisen on the uh, website for this, which is the Acer Aspire, sorry, Aspire One user.com similar to e e e user.com uh, there's an aspire one user for people of who own this laptop and um, apparently that some people are saying it's sluggish on XP um, but it might be something to do with formatting it but I'll try it anyway you know what I'm like I'll tweak this thing out until it will shine so that's about it really this is the um, this is the A110 again this is the 8 gigabyte SSD and it's very very light uh, as light as the Asus EPC, and I know it's a little bit wider, um, but to me, it looks a lot nicer. Uh, I think it's actually just switched itself off. Yeah, it has, but um, it's all good. This is the Acer 
A110. Hope this video comes out alright. So thanks for watching my video. This is my new toy that I'm going to mess about with. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again 